Yeah, I'm recording it. A little connection there. Yeah, I know. Right on the front of the catcher, but not good. It's been there for a while though. Yeah. I do all kinds of dirt. Yeah, there's two, two guys. We really gotta hold your eyes still. About, see this little peak in the tree right here, Craig? This peak. Look. There's a far right one. Look down at the peak. Oh, we've seen a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of energy. That's true, they're not going to do that. Alright. Hello, my name is Fausto Perez and this invite is to Khloe Kardashian and your family and anybody else who would like to come. I was recently informed or enlightened that you, Khloe Kardashian, have seen a UFO yourself and put a tweet up about it. And you and your family went to Area 51 to try to investigate on this and get further information. I don't know how much information you got on it, but I would like to invite you to my events. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I summon UFOs for the public, so I uh, get a group of people out and I call on UFOs with others to, that help me, like Jim Martin, Jonathan Castro, and Robert Bingham. They were at my first event to help me summon, and we had a great turnout. We had a group of 30 people, and we had 30 UFOs that showed up for us uh, that day. I have a video up on it. You can check it out here. It's the video of my first event, the coverage, the testimony of everyone who was there, and. Uh, video of the sightings that we got footage of just uh, some of the UFOs we weren't able to record all of them Well, I wasn't able to record all of them personally If you want to see how I got my how this, the word got out and started uh, people started seeing about this uh, There's a channel on YouTube called third phase of the moon. They did a documentary on me Here's a link to that documentary check that one out. It covers how I, it covers what I can do uh, I invite you to come to my event and help us get the word out, help the world know about this phenomenon. There's UFOs out there, it's being hidden from us and we want to let everyone know. Just as you saw it yourself, you want other people to know what you saw. If you do come, uh, please contact me on my email, the link will be below for my email. Also my Facebook, it'll be linked below also, that'll be facebook.com slash UFO summoning. And if you come, bring your best camera, your best binoculars. Come out, record this phenomenon, and help us show it to the people. The event will be November 24th at Hollydale Park, Calif uh, Southgate, California. For all the information, go to my Facebook. The link will be there. Uh, I'll also post another link to another website that's helping me promote the event. This is an invite to Chloe Kardashian again and her family and anybody else who wants to come. Other celebrities, other people, come out, check out the event. Help us record it. Bring your best recording equipment. Bring your best binoculars. Come show yourself. Uh, that there's something else out there. Come investigate for yourself. Don't trust the people who are talking or the uh, the videos. I didn't trust the videos when I first saw this, so I went out to see it with my own eyes. And believe me, seeing it with your own eyes instead of seeing it with the videos is a big difference. The video catches nothing to what your eyes see. And on that note, here's a video of what happened on November 10th, Sunday, on my first event with the uh, four other summoners. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't have to watch. Isn't by the thing? Where? You see that thick thing on the left? Count them. Six, six, with right above six. There's two of them, like just interacting with each other. Oh, look! Wait, look! Oh, look at the flower! Look at that! Oh no! Oh my God! Okay, above the rope, and the sound rope, they're like flying like around each other. Oh yeah, amazing! How they look at the top. Oh my God! Look at that! Oh my God! They just crossed each other. Yeah. <laughs> that is fascinating. Wow. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> no, it was one ship. Uh, it was really, really shiny. It was it kept like glowing. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. it looks dwarf. Wow. I need to clean the screen. Yeah, I see that. You see that? It's almost safe. What the? On my tia, they came to my event today. What did you guys see today? Here we are at Hollidale uh, Park, yeah. and it's amazing it's because we cool. get to see a lot of uh, flying objects. I don't know how to describe, but some of them had like a light blue color, like a turquoise. Some was uh, silver, and some get closer, some far away. It's amazing. Uh, you have to see it to believe it. But uh, what did you see, mom? <laughs> Can you describe it? Like an oval. It has like an oval, the ones that I see. And, and it has like an oval shape, kind of like a balloon, but in an oval shape. And 
they come from different parts, different areas. And you see uh, hawks flying around. So it's amazing. You have to see it. Gracias, tía. Gracias, man. Right about the park. Now it's in between. Go down like this with Sasha, right there. Oh, now I see it. It's right over the second one. One, two. No, I see one over there. There's one going up. It's like moving really fast. Oh, wait a minute. There's one really over here and there's one over there. There's Can you see it, Pasta? Not on my camera. That happens a lot. Just snapping skills. Hopefully it comes out of my skills. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is my cousin Alan, his girlfriend Sasha, they came to my event. Thank you guys. What did you guys see today? And what was your most exciting sighting that you saw? Honestly, when I first came to the summoning, I didn't expect to see anything. I was just coming to support Lido. And then as soon as we got there, like five or ten minutes after, people started pointing in the sky and saying, oh, like there it is, there it is. So then I looked and I saw like a orb, a white, shining like orb thing floating in the sky. And then I was like, what? And then uh, like five minutes later, there was another one and they just started coming. And um, the favorite, my favorite one that I saw was um, one that was flashing like a greenish light in the sky because someone let me, um, lend me their binoculars. And, um, I saw one that had a flashing light, so that was really amazing. Two. two. There's two. One is over here. They're playing with each other. Oh, the second. Oh, that is awesome. That's a big one. They're moving way faster than playing. Yeah. See how fast they're moving? Oh, that was interacting. Oh, I see it. There's two of them interacting. Oh, look, Sasha, over there. Let's go for the oh, there's two of them interacting. 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 There's two of them It's like it went up to get over the tree. Coming toward us. It's coming, it's coming. Alan Gonzalez, what did you see at the park today during Fausto Perez's event? Well, usually when I go with you, I see about maybe like one or two orbs. And this time it was crazy. That was over like 20 lights in the sky. Probably more, and I was only there for about an hour. So it was really crazy to see all the whole crowd looking at all these things that we usually see, but now the whole public gets to see it, which was really cool. And they were all shapes, all sizes. We looked through the binoculars, each one was different. And that was just, um, that was really cool. That was a cool event. Did you guys happen to see the three orbs interacting with each other, flying around in circles? Yeah. Could you describe how those went around? Anything um, you remember about him? I remember just like seeing one and then you saw like another one come like by it and then one one of them started going in circles and then they were kind of, it looked like they were kind of playing with each other like tag or something. <laughs> what so that was cool. I never saw, well I've never seen any of this but that like two of them playing with each other was cool. How would you describe it Alan? I didn't get to see that one but I did see <clears throat> this other one which was really bright in color, it was almost like a green or bluish color, and it was just like super bright. And I was, only a couple of people got to see it, but everyone who did see it, they were just like, wow, like what the heck is happening? Uh, what would you say would be your most favorite sighting today? Probably that green one. And also someone else, uh, someone had a, a Canon camera and they zoomed in, and that was like the weirdest orb yeah. shape I've ever seen, it was crazy. Yeah, the pictures that someone took, the two of them that I saw, um, one of them was like a diamond shape and the other one, like I couldn't even describe like the shape. I right? just never seen something like that. And it was amazing to see it that close up because you could see it in the sky but then see the picture of it, like put everything into like perspective. Yeah, I I got a really great one right here.
This is Jim Martin. He came today to help me to help me summon. Thank you for thank you for coming. By the way, it couldn't have happened this amazing if you guys didn't come to help. What did you see today? Thanks, boss. I appreciate you having the event. Uh, we had a great day today. Multiple sightings. Uh, a couple different craft, a couple different uh, square craft, a couple orbs, and uh, really excited to look at the footage once we get back to the editing room. So, thanks again to Foster Press, Third Face Moon, uh, Robert Bingham, for we're coming out today. Thank you. Oh, that's a freaky one. It's a, almost like a cylinder. Good eye. This is Joel Rodriguez from Joel Rodriguez UFO. He started this by being a private investigator to debunk it and he ended up changing his mind. Can you tell us what you saw today? I saw some more passing by from this way, going this way, several over here. Hey John, how's it going buddy? Hey, you Finally made it at the end. <laughs> oh man, it took me forever to get through LAX. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion again, they're not angels, but that's just my opinion. But we saw some right, stuff. We got my get up right here. So it's all working good. And uh, brand new telescope. I'm still working on it so I can get some really close ups. Awesome. Grats to see. I think if I allow them to vibrate onto my vibration and come to our dimension. There's something, huh? Hmm? There's something right there. There's another one? I don't know. I think he's just putting it on his screen. Dr. J. Uh, Jay Andy Elias from Third Phase of Moon. What did you see today at the event? Well, I came to film the people, but at one point there was filming, there was two crowds, right? And I went to catch from, from that corner to capture the entire crowd. Two thirds of the people were looking in this direction, and pointing at something. One third of the people were looking in that direction, right? So as I'm filming, look at a third person pops up and points this direction, and they were talking about the moon. Now, what I saw from the angle that I was at, they were between the power lines. There was a, a silver orb and it was flickering. I couldn't see it change shape because I didn't see it any through binoculars. Some people were saying it was multiple shapes, but it was one that I saw in particular. At the same time and that was going on, clearly people were seeing a, a different one because they were looking in a different direction. But I, I didn't quite see it by the moon, but it was between the two power lines. You could clearly tell it was way, way high up there. I wish I had seen more than that, but I did see some of the footage that people have and I'm sure everybody will see the footage posted on the channel. Congrats. Is my friend getting it? Out? He has a good camera. I, ho I hope he got it. Oh, there he is on the left side. Oh, yeah, it's starting to the left. Yeah, it's moving now. 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 I got a really great one right here. Yeah, he, he's got two over here. I can see You guys were here for the soccer game today, right? Yeah. And then you yeah. saw this crowd over here and you asked what happened? Yeah, yes. we didn't know what until we started yeah. seeing, you know, like those uh, like lights thinking. way up there. <laughs> the fashion lights? Yeah. Okay. And then we spotted one and then we see, we were wondering what everybody was doing here with his cameras and now that we we're here, we're spotting up in the north. And they're way up there, they're real high. So I, I doubt it. I don't think they're even jets. Because if they were jets, you know, and if the jets were jets, they would So it's, it's kind of amazing, you know, to be here, you know, to, uh, to be you know, a spectator and sit this, you know. So once in a lifetime, the first time I see something like this. Can you describe what you saw? Excuse me? Could uh, you describe what you saw? Me? Yeah. I saw uh, on top of the floor. I saw a pinking light. Two of them. And then by the wire, I saw another one. Really bright one. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, there it is. Really bright. Right above that. Two, three, four, five. Actually, not flash. Looks like it. It just, it's flashing and solid. Right here, to the right. Okay, I see. Take the tree, take the pole, to the right above. I see, you see today. Well, today, uh, apparently I saw a lot of objects going uh, southwest, uh, coming from the north, which I appear to be balloons. But then there were a couple objects that actually froze, like we're still watching here, that did not move and they're not traveling and they are changing colors. 
Um, two of those objects I definitely saw, I cannot say they're anything else but unidentified, that's all I can say. And i like to thank Robert Bingham and you for uh, inviting us all down here and coming out and doing this really patient. And once again, I we are watching something right up here that is not moving and it is very bright, uh, strobing, changing colors. Definitely not blue. Awesome, thank you. Oh, this one's a double orb one. Yeah, you want to see it? Come right here. It's two orbs. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, what did you guys see today at the event? Well, the first, I came around, I missed the, uh, the, 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 the flotilla, what they call it, flotilla. They were around six, but uh, I, I, I missed those. But uh, when I came in around 11, I saw a, a big one, a, a big orb on, uh, on the north side. I think it's the north side that way. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the That's north right. side. And that was, uh, that was my pretty good shot. That was a big one. Like about eight UFOs today. It just passed by in front of the moon. I saw one with his binoculars. Uh, the UFO was there. It had no wingspan. It didn't look like a bird. It was an actual bird. And it was a trip. I was looking at it in the sky and I'm like looking at it through his binoculars. This thing was definitely not conventional aircraft. It was an actual conventional aircraft. This thing was something. It was a ball. That was stationary in the sky. And it's windy, it's pretty windy today. This this was not a balloon. A balloon would have kept on flying. This was stationary and it was out there to show us the show. That's exactly what it was doing. Yeah. The thing about it that we saw uh, quite a few of them uh, throughout the morning and this afternoon. It was uh, pretty amazing. And then also, like you see the falcons coming right now. Every time we see these falcons, you know, they come in groups. And then they start swir swirling and swarming. And then five minutes or 10 minutes later, the UFO shows up. And then you go and look for the birds again, they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> the, the birds are gone completely. Yes. The UFO's always there. Yes. Grazie very much. Yeah, I thought he was. What are you doing? Yeah, he was supposed to get here at Oh, got it. Got it, got it. Got it. Locked on. I'm recording the Oh, I saw several probably. Yeah, you got a fall over here. Thank you guys. And also there was a, a halo around them often. Yeah, they there was. See. Yeah, you can see the halo. It got bigger. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't get bigger, it actually came yeah, closer. Yeah, it came closer. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Maybe they'll give me a jetpack. Oh, uh, one orb disappeared. That's what I. So, what did you see today? Well, it was the first time that I was able to actually see physically these orbs, and to me, I just assumed that they're crafts. I saw really far in the distance, about six different times, glistening, and they would come and go really sharply. 
they would move and at one point there was two and they were going like this around each other and that was crazy <laughs> and that was cool. I mean it's a new level of belief awesome Still a little further. Okay, if it's flashing, it's gonna come on. So, what did you guys see today at the event? Uh, today at the event, we saw at least four, at least that I saw four, four different orbs and ships. Who knows? I can't wait to get home and look them, put them up in the computer, and then sometimes I like to dim the brightness so then I could actually see the shape of the craft. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm a long time, I'm a long time believer. Uh, I'm the first time here. Uh, I saw incredible, incredible flashes of light emanating from its own source above the, above the skies. It's still there right now. And uh, I, I don't know what it's called. I, I, all I know is I, I clearly experienced seeing something that came from the skies. When it was called. That's the, what the amazing thing is about this whole experience, even if somebody isn't somebody who believes in this. It's, you can clearly look into the sky and you can say, okay, I don't see anything. And then you see one of these gentlemen summon. And before you know it, there's three and four and five objects. There's a, you know, just boom, out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden it fizzles out and it disappears too. So, you know, you can, you can not believe necessarily in aliens or UFOs, but like you do believe visually what you see, right? So this is what we see. And it's pretty incredible. It is, it's a very real experience. Mm -hmm. Someone that's never done it that's before, never experienced. Never, seen, never experienced, doesn't believe, doesn't know what things are called, but you come here and you clearly see. Yes, we're close. Let's take advantage of having a great shot and then maybe. Okay. Popping off from the left of the middle of the street in about 45 seconds. Oh, okay, over there. Yeah, I got it. Used to recording it, Jim? I got a lot of it. I got a lot of it. It was kind of right up over.